Will the Wastelanders DLC for Fallout 76 stand a chance in quarter one 2020? Well, let's talk about it. <laughs> What's up human beings? Welcome back to another video on the Games and Groceries channel. But instead of question of the week, we decided to more or less bring you into the conversation of discussion where we're going to call this midweek speak. I couldn't think of a better name, but that, that's the tentative name right now because it, it, it rhymes. Uh, but yeah, midweek speak, and we want to ask the question because the news came out that Wastelanders DLC for Fallout 76 is going to be in quarter one 2020. Uh, we talked about this a little bit on the podcast. Uh, if you want to check it out up here, we interviewed Limited Run Games, so pretty cool episode. <laughs> But we want to discuss it a little bit more. Could it survive in 2020? So first thing we have to take into account is really the state of Fallout 76. And I don't think it's in a good state right now. No, I mean, listen to any episode on the podcast yeah. where we had to report on anything involving Fallout. It just, when you hear the words Fallout 76, mm -hmm. you get like these chills down your spine like, ugh. Yeah. Like, you, it's like the flashbacks of everything they've done wrong. Yeah, and, and it's unfortunate because from what I can tell, the community is amazing. If you go into Fallout 76, people are nice in there. There's no toxic yeah. people. Uh, the people who are in it are, are, are enjoying what they purchase and good for you. $60, well, well spent. Yeah. But for the majority, the microtransactions have been, I don't want to say out of control, but questionable. Yeah. Like this, this fridge. What is that? But speaking on that, there, there have been bug after bug after bug after fixes to the point where their fixes break the game again. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't seem to be in a playable state. And by playable, I mean not bug free, but enjoyable, immersive, and they can go into it and you can actually enjoy your time with it for the majority of players. Yeah, it just seems that 76 has su has created such a bad rap, rap for itself. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just, it's it's not in a place where when you hear something new coming out that you're 100% yeah. excited for it. And even Nikki chimed in on this discussion by saying, I rarely even hear anything about Fallout 76 anymore, so it's already unfair odds for that DLC to begin with I guess, and the competition is tough too. To her point, yeah, but you don't really hear anything about Fallout 76, not as bad as Anthem. Anthem's dead in the water. But you don't really hear anybody talking yeah. about Fallout 76 and it's supposed to be a growing community. So right now, the state of the game is just not well off for what it should be. So one thing that comes into my mind when I heard that the Wastelanders DLC is being delayed What's coming out this month in October 2019? The Fallout Killer, as many call it, Outer Worlds, is actually coming out this Friday as you're watching it. It's coming out this year. It's coming out when Wastelanders should have come out in that time span. Mm -hmm. Isn't it a little weird that Fallout 76 NPC dialogue choice DLC is delayed once a Fallout you know, a Fallout killer game is supposed to be releasing. I feel like they got some cold feet in there and they said, let's put this off. We're not in a good state right now. Nobody bought our leather jackets and Outer Worlds is gonna take our place. So let's just delay it into 2020. That could be true. The other thing though, is that they would have known yeah. beforehand. But I feel like they were more confident at the time. That's true. That yeah. is very possible. So, I mean, I completely agree with your theory. That is very possible. Yeah. At the same time, it is still their own fault because, like I said, they have known that this was... Yeah. You know, that they, they would be releasing around the same time. Exactly. So, again, it's Bethesda bringing it on themselves. And, and yeah, I, to your point of just saying that they should have known, they should have known a lot of things. <laughs> They should have known that people were not going to be happy with the Nuka Rum plastic bottles. They should have known that they were not going to be happy with the fridge they could buy for $7, I believe what it or was. Or those canvas bags. Or the canvas bags. They, they should have known this. Good point. They should have known that they would have a canvas loss supply, whatever yeah. excuse they had, instead of like revealing that they're going to put in canvas mm -hmm. bag. They should have known a lot of things. 
And this is just in the character of the Fallout 76 development, mm -hmm. where they should have known that the Outer Worlds would take its place, but it's coming. Yeah. They know it. They know that these two are competitors in some cases, but I, I theorize that they saw it coming. They know Fallout 76 is not in a good state right now, publicly talking mm -hmm. about that. So they decided quarter one, 2020. So that brings us into our main topic. Could the Wastelanders DLC actually survive in quarter one, 2020? I theorized that it couldn't survive in the Outer Worlds uh, release. Mm -hmm. I think it could. I really do think it could. Not a lot of people would pay attention to it, but look at the competition coming out in quarter one, 2020. I mean, think about this. In quarter one, 2020, we have Watch Dogs Legion, which a lot of people are excited about, especially you can interact with every single NPC. Mm -hmm. Big one, Last of Us Part Two. A lot of people are looking forward to that one. We've got Animal Crossing. Woo! I know that's not a big competition amongst Fallout fans, but Animal Crossing, come on. But to make it even further, they're competing against themselves because Doom Eternal's coming out quarter one, 2020. So you have two Bethesda properties in the same market, which is kind of odd. And a lot of people are theorizing that 2020 is the year of Starfield, at least for trailers or gameplay revealing. So it's going to be kind of crazy, but quarter one, Final Fantasy VII Remake, that's coming yeah. out quarter one, 2020. Yeah, it just seems that they are going up against a lot. Yeah. And I think even though they're, they're kind of different markets where, you know, these people, they have to still buy the game and the yeah. DLC is free. Right. But it's in the way of like, all right, how many people are you actually going to be getting to play the DLC when they have all these nice, new, fresh games to play that haven't already yeah. pissed them off? So notice I didn't put in Cyberpunk 2077 into that conversation. It's because it's coming out quarter two, 2020, but I still think that could be a heavy competition for this Wastelanders DLC because let's say they finally drop this in March, 2020, alongside Doom Eternal. Great, uh, it has a lot of time to actually, you know, cook a little, a little bit, but the whole point of this is to get people into the live service of this game to make sure that they're continually playing Fallout 76. And then if it's in March, come April, when Cyberpunk 2077 comes out, guess what people are gonna be playing? That's right, Keanu Reeves. So while I admire Bethesda for uh, taking some delays to make sure your game is running properly and your DLC is running properly, you're also going against a sea of games, like really solid, outstanding games are coming out in quarter one, 2020, and quarter two, 2020. But they're doing this, and if my theory is right, that they're avoiding the Outer Worlds competition, I would rather fight against one game that's considered the Fallout killer than this whole slew of games, including Watch Dogs Legion, Last of Us Part Two, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, all these other games, Animal Crossing. You gotta go through Animal Crossing. It's a lot of battle for just one single DLC. So before we go into our final thoughts, I wanna hear your thoughts. Comment down below. What are your thoughts about the Wastelanders DLC going into quarter one, 2020? Can it survive? Have you had a lot of experience in Fallout 76? Are you enjoying it? I wanna hear it down in the comments down below. Down below, you, you know what I mean. Write it down there. The talk, talking about will it succeed in quarter one, 2020, my thoughts and I think probably your thoughts yeah. too. We've talked about this before filming. Shocker. But I think it will succeed amongst those who already have the game and are excited. People like me, I have Fallout 76. I haven't touched it in a while, but Wastelanders DLC with the NPCs, dialogue choices, new storylines, that excites me. It makes it into an actual Fallout game in my opinion, and it's gonna work for people like me. But will it bring in new people? Yeah, I I think that's where it's gonna fail, especially coming out in quarter one where you do have all these new and highly anticipated games coming out. Yeah. Is that you're gonna be asking people to buy a game that has a bad rep right now. Right. And buy it instead of getting these other games that they've been waiting for that 
haven't failed them yet. Mm -hmm. And you're just kind of asking a lot yeah. for a DLC going up all these games. And like we said before, they should have chosen the go up against the one game versus. out of the world versus all these highly anticipated games that they that will now be competing with. So those are some of our thoughts about the Wastelanders DLC going into this quarter of 2020 with this whole slew of games. I'm super excited for Animal Crossing and Last of Us Part 2. That's just me. But again, we want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on this whole subject? Will it survive? Will it stand a chance? I hope it does make a resurgence just because I love Fallout. I do. I want it to succeed. But for, for all this to go on, I'm, I'm starting to think it's it's got to hit the books. If this doesn't work, then Fallout 76 was just, you know, a public flop. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share with your friends. Yep. And don't forget to comment down below. Let us know what you think of the Wastelanders DLC being moved to quarter one 2020. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new videos like this one, like our Let's Plays, and like our podcast that comes out weekly. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Later.